Today we're going to be looking at the Zeppelin Loop Knot. Now, this particular knot has several different characteristics that make it a very good knot. First of all, it forms a fixed loop knot, wherein the working end is outside of the interior of the loop. And this one has the benefit of being extremely easy to untie after it's been loaded because of the crossing bars that you have here. So even after it's seen a substantial amount of load, these are very easy to break over in order to, to begin to loosen that knot and get it untied. So let's take a look at how to tie the Zeppelin loop knot. To begin this knot, we're going to start off by turning a overhand knot into our rope and we're going to put that about 16 inches down the line or so. Really just depends on how big you want your final loop to be. Now we'll take the standing end and the working end and we'll pinch them together down here and that will kind of splay open our overhand knot to an upper and a lower loop. Now for this to be right, the standing end comes to the top side, the working end goes to the lower side. Once we've got that pinched off, then we can take the working end of the rope and we can send it down through the top loop. And then we'll cross over the top like so. So now we formed an, another loop that sits on top of our lower loop. And now to finish this one off, we just bring the working end up through the bottom of that loop and go through both of those loops. And then we can tighten everything up, get everything dressed properly. And that is the Zeppelin loop. 